about 63 kilometers off the coast of Cairns out on Moor Reef, which is one of 3,000 individual structures that make up the Great Barrier Reef. Remora, our reef magic pontoon, um, is basically a little bit of land in the middle of the ocean uh, where you can come and do your snorkeling activities, jump on a boat, stay dry but see the reef or get to come into our GBR Biology Lab and explore some of the site stewardship and research that's done on the reef as well. When the reef can't fix itself, we've got these initiatives to give it a little bit of a hand where we try to help the reef recover these loose fragments of coral are generally found maybe after a cyclone or a storm. So we give them a second purpose. We use these frames that we attach loose coral fragments to. It's basically a big jigsaw puzzle we do under the water once they're all completed. So it's putting corals back where they once were um, it increases the biodiversity, it brings back all the fish life, it brings back our beautiful corals in that area as well. Yeah, we've had a really great success rate. Our coral coverage has increased over there in the last two years by over 50% um, and we've had less than 1% mortality rate. How does that make you feel? It's phenomenal to know that you're able to come out and have that our pride in the areas that we visit every single day is really important. I think it's our job working out here and being in the tourism industry and being marine biologists and researchers on the reef that this is what we should be doing to look after our patch. Working together with traditional owners to ensure that we're best managing the sea country and the sites that we get to come out and enjoy every single day. Basically what I got taught, if you look after the land, the land will look after you. And that's a certain respect that we actually got taught from a young age with their hunting and gathering. And it all boils down as to our sustainability where we take only as much as we needed, not as much as we wanted. It's a beautiful spot, isn't it? Not a bad office, eh? Hey? <laughs> this centre opened back in 2012, so we've been open just over 10 years. Prior to that, nearly half a million people were actually driving their own vehicles directly to Mossman Gorge themselves. The community then had an idea that they wanted to create jobs and employment for the future generations, hence the idea about this centre came about. The ethos and philosophy is around creating employment and training for Indigenous people right throughout Australia. So the straps here are the main rainforest symbol, so any other family can do the straps. We've always made sure that we valued and make sure that these young ones know that we're family and that's how we will treat them. So you can't walk the land without putting this on. That's your passport and ID. So I'm Ben, and I'm from the Guga Yanagi tribe. I enjoy this place a lot. If anyone would look for me, I'd be up here. <laughs> yeah, not way in town anywhere. Yeah. I mean, since 180 million years from this land has been surviving, rainforest. It's got a lot to really say. So it's, it's, it is like a university, shopping center, and a chemist all in one, yeah. This is where the soap comes from, okay? So the leaves, it's been crushed up just like this. Oh. oh, wow, that's amazing. Soap and healing as well. The trick here is the bubbles that will heal, yeah. I love it, I think it's just extraordinary and feel very blessed to have had this experience, it certainly exceeded anything that I could have hoped for. Where the elders would teach the young ones, they bring them here, teach them the same thing I'm uh, saying to you. I was amazing, it was beautiful. You actually feel it as you walk through and you hear Ben telling the story, but also just incredible gratitude and respect for the fact that he's willing to share his culture. So this one here, this is a uh, Davison Plum. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> It's sour. Sour? <laughs> yep. That's the one, yeah. These are the fantastic Davison plums from the northern rainforest. One of our favourite bush foods.
ever since we started to really had a passion about using as much local produce as possible. We use about 30 independent local suppliers and I think it's really good for that local economy. The Davidson Plum is quite a strong flavour, so it still carries through. And then once you triple coat jelly on the outside, it you know, adds that more flavour to it. We use a lot of different native foods and it's a trial and error process because they you know, are very natural. They haven't been developed by man, they haven't been cross-grafted to you know, make them sit on the supermarket shelf for longer. But that's great. So we've got really strong original flavours. you just got to work with them well. It is a win-win. It's a win for us because we're supporting local small business and great for the customer. They get an authentic experience of local produce. That's a, an essential ingredient to our restaurant. One of the key things is about that retaining of culture and preservation of culture for the old people and Yalanji people to be able to continue to pass on that cultural knowledge right throughout generations. I think that when we see guests coming uh, now and into the future, they want to know that wherever they are, whatever environment they're in, they're playing their part to look after it.